What does it mean? You're alive. Yeah, check, check, check. Can you hear us? Can is you there any us? feedback? Is, is there any echoes and that kind of stuff? It sounds okay from here. Yeah, it does sound okay. I don't, hear, I don't hear any echoes. Uh, Welcome to Monday Night Sketchy Live. Uh, I'm John Jalopy. This is Itty B, uh, my beautiful, talented, lovely wife who holds it all together. Um, as you can see, we move the camera around a little bit just to get a little better uh, shot of the both of us. Tighter, feel, tighter angle, maybe? Well, I just wanted to be able to talk to you like this versus... The way it was before, which was if I was looking at the camera, I was like, "Whoa, well, hey, what's going on over it was here?" Good. It was good for your neck movement. It hurt a lot. So, any Guys, echoes? No. Double check the, the the yeah. Nobody, no feedback. No going. feedback. Um, no feedback. Season four, episode thirty-one, guys. Yeah, tonight we sketch. Last day of August. Starsky and Hutch. Yay! Are... I love Do you remember? Starsky and Do you remember Starsky? And Hutch? I don't. <laughs> Or do you remember? I, or do you remember the Ben Stiller remake? I do. I remember the Ben Stiller, but I still couldn't tell you the plot. The Lou Wills, the plot. Wasn't there a plot? Isn't there a plot? Well, there's always a plot. Yeah, and I don't know what it is. Okay, let me tell you who we have on because there are 26 okay. viewers right now. Roger so that. You get to sketch him. I will do that. We have got Lane Kelton joining us. Lane, all the way from Lane Kelt, Alabama. Um, What's going on? Lane has been working on. Yeah, that his, pool area is looking pretty ooh, yeah, sweet. Yeah, he's doing like a. Uh, almost like a cabana, like a, I don't know what you would call it, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, Paul Marziani joining us. Welcome, sir. We've got Julie Anderson from the Pacific Northwest Seattle area, maybe Seattle. I don't know where she is tonight. Um, Lizzie Daughtry tuning in from Dade City. Nice. Mike Furch, she said evening, guys, 933, right on time. All the way up in Dade City. Yeah, Lizzie was. Um yeah, we were just a tiny bit late. Again, working out a couple little details on the setup. Still fairly new. So yeah, so we didn't have all the kinks worked break, out maybe. completely. Um, Spud Anderson is joining us as well. Welcome. He says, let's get sketchy. Yeah, let's get sketchy. Why let's not? do it. Why not? Let's do it. Jim Pollan is joining us. Hello. Bobo's Hot Rod Garage in, in the Hizzy. New York. Thank you, sir. In the Hizzy. Draco said right on time, late as usual. Well, you never catch a break from that you guy. You really can't catch a break from Drago. <laughs> it's all in love. You know what, though? James yeah. Kaiser joining us. Hello from Hi. Chubby Dicks. Chubby Dicks. Dicks. Shop Shop in Indy. Nice. Love your work. Welcome. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Love what you do. Uh, Michael Allen is joining us. Hello, sir. We've got Lou Linder Jr. from Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Louis Linder Jr. Um, yes, everyone says that they can hear us. No feedback, good volume, perfect. That's great. Kevin Johnson, hey guys, had a long day. Hey. Helpless, ready to relax and get sketchy. Get sketchy. <laughs> Gotta love the hut whiz. Up in the hood. Hood whiz. 
hood. Whis. <laughs> um, where am I here? Tracy Cordfield joining us. Hey guys, I hope you are both well. We are. Thank We're doing you, great. Thanks. Spud Anderson said the striped tomato. Yes. What is that? The Starsky and Hutch car. Oh, is that what it was called? I think some people called it that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mike Fergie said, yes, love that Torino. So I'm guessing it's a Grand Torino. It is a Grand Torino. I don't know what year. I believe it is a 76. Six. 76. 70, yeah. Is it? Uh, Lizzie said, this Saturday is a car show here in downtown Dade City from 12 to 4. Come on out. Fun, fun, fun till the daddy took the T-bird away. Do you have plans this weekend? I work. You do. That's mm -hmm. all I do. I work yeah, all really, weekends all the time He now. doesn't have weekends off, which yeah. I think I think is unfair. Well, you know, sometimes that's what happens when you work retail. I, you I know, suppose so. You think, you know. Can't always have your days off. You know, sometimes you might have to take one of my days off. Paul Boom. Arnold is joining us. Hi from Australia, guys. Hey, Welcome. what's going on? How's everything? Uh -huh. How's everything? Down under. <laughs> <laughs> if we haven't offended you yet, welcome How to. How is that offensive? I said it in the way that they would say it. That's what they oh, say. Oh, they. Down under. Wow. From Australians. They're from wow. Australia. They. Down under. Um, Russ Randall, hi all from Great Bend, New York. Welcome to the Randalls. We're, we're glad that everyone's here. Chip Farrell is joining us, or is it Pharrell? I want to say it's Pharrell. I'm not sure where the inflection is. Maybe. It could just be Farrell. Um, he said Zebra 3. Is that what the car's also called? I believe that was their, um, that, like when they were doing their call in, like Adam 12, they yeah. were Zebra 3. Were they cops? Yeah. <laughs> Really? Undercover. They were undercover cops, detectives, if you will. <gasps> I and thought they were plain clothes cops. See, we just talked about this last week about mm -hmm. when we did the A team, right? It, about people who are no longer law enforcement that kind of went and developed like their own team. That's what I thought these guys were doing. So apparently, that's not what it is. No, wow, they were running the streets, man. Seeing what's going on, the street streets. Because they had to, they had to, they had to get the crimes in, get the stop the crimes. So they dressed like they were, you know, the regular street. I, I, I was, I think they were like detectives, is what they were. I don't even know. So you don't even know, really. Plain clothes cops is what they Comes were. Right yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. They were always shaking down people, shaking them down, and they visit a little uh, huggy bear. This is why you the want to peel. stay closer to me. So you could, the peel. So you could push the Tiger Bear was a peel. Wasn't that Snoop? In the remake, yes. Yes. Okay, so I do remember that. He had a bear. What? Was he a bear? No, he wasn't a Did bear. Did he have a bear? No. Wasn't he called Huggy Bear? He was called Huggy Bear, yes. That's what but he was wasn't a bear name. and he didn't have a stuffed bear? No. Why am I thinking he had a stuffed bear? I have no idea. Probably some <sighs> porn you watch. Bob McLaren is joining us. I don't Welcome, sir, from the 51st state. Guess who is on the broadcast tonight? I'm gonna say I don't know. They just weathered a storm. Oh, my. The McCoys. Uh, McCoys. Hello from the McCoys of Maurice, and thanks for all the prayers for us with Ida. We dodged a big one. Yes, I believe, because I looked just up on yeah, the map. Holy cow. You were to the west of the hurricane's path, so I'm glad. Many folks in that area have lost lost power and they've pretty, lost more than that pretty massive destruction so yeah. we are, are praying for all of those people for sure but thankful that the mccoys are we safe. are they thankful. took a few hits last week we are last thankful year. last week well probably last week too maybe who knows howard pierpont is joining mr us. pierpont welcome sir sir he says it is and I just lost my spotter. There we go. 84 Sunset Grilly Colorado. Nice. nice. He makes Grilly Colorado just sound. I'd amazing. love to go. I know. I totally want to go. You know, it was funny. You want to go just for the CBD. I have this client that moved out here from Colorado. You know, I sell insurance. So he moved out here from <laughs> Colorado and he was talking, we, you know, we were talking about um, Johnny's art and everything. And because he's a car fan and he said, you know, I've, I've got, I've got this um, guy that I do books for out in Colorado. 
huge fan. And he's like, he's like, oh, he's got this big property. And I'm thinking, oh, I said, is his name Howard? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> that was Howard. And he knew him. I thought that would be so funny. It wasn't him. <laughs> Um, Julie said, I'm home in Everett. Had to go back to work today. Ah, oh, boo. Ah, oh, boo. Ah, oh, boo. Mike Furchie said, uh, Lizzie Daughtry Lizzie Daughtry got a freaking work. Yeah. Everybody's working on the Saturday. Um, Tracy Cordfield said, by the way, um, from Ricky Mount VA. Oh, nice. so from Virginia. Oh, maybe Very it's cool. Rocky Mount. He put Ricky Mount. Oh, Rocky <laughs> Mount. Is that is that that Virginia we were looking for? And then we ended no. up. In Missouri, I think yeah, it was. <laughs> we ended up close Mountain to West Mama, Virginia. <laughs> take me home. Yeah, you want Country to Road. Uh, the Anderson said that they were praying. So glad you were spared. That was too. Um, it was a close one. Boys. Um, Stacy Conine is joining us. Hello, my friends. Welcome, Hello. sir. Naz Malone as well. Hey guys, Naz, what's up? What's up? Jeff Johnston watching from Calgary, Canada. Eh? Well, he didn't put a. He you put a. You put a. <laughs> I said a. That's from all your. Uh, you know so much so much Canadian, Canadian stuff from now. How I Met Your Mother because yeah. we were watching that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tracy Corpel said I owned a '73 and my twin Tim had a '70. Nice. Um, Paul Arnold is from Australia as well. Welcome. Well, we're we've got the Australians in the house we, tonight. We are grateful for it. Uh, Lane said we call it our pool house. Can't live in it, even though we will spend a lot of time here. It's going to have a bathroom, kitchen slash bar. Been a long time planning and a lot of work. Well, it looks fantastic. Um, it's coming along great. Johnny and I will wait until it's done before we come up <laughs> so we can use it. <laughs> Uh, John Kincaid is joining us. Hi, y'all from North Arkansas. Nice. Welcome. Um, Paul Arnold said Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. And then he said, you said it right. See? Down, uh, down, da. down, down, da. <laughs> Oh, and then Ness said, please don't say it that way. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom and Tim are in the house. What's up, love Mom? you, Mama Wood and Tim. She says, Tim? love you, my babies. Um, Kevin Johnson said, Huggy Bear Baby. That's right. Um, let's see. I, this is the, see, this is why I like my tablet. Why? Because it, this scrolls so fast. uncontrollably, and then I can't, I can't get in there very good. You know what? Let me do a split screen for you guys so you can see Johnny drawing, because I haven't been doing that. It's just been on us. Um, so there you go. All right. Um, Russ Randall said Antonio Fargus. Who's that? Uh, I, maybe that was Huggy Bear. Maybe. Maybe that was the original. Uh, James Kaiser said, I'd love to get my shop car drawn by you. And Zebra 3 was the call sign. Starsky always wore blue or green jock shorts. Also, Huggy Bear, um, the OJ just passed away recently. Oh. It's the OG, babe. Oh, he put OJ. I think he meant OG. He probably did mean OG. I'm just reading what people write because I didn't know. I was like, oh, OJ died? I didn't know OJ died. <laughs> the OJ. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Maybe, or maybe he was talking about the group, the OJs. Maybe he was talking about orange juice. I don't know. Uh, Robbie Chapman joining us. Hello from Sacramento, California. Welcome, sir. Lane Kelton said, it's been a long time since I've seen a Starsky and Hutch episode. So let me get this straight. So initially, it was just the show or was it a movie first no it was movie. always been a tv show okay ben stiller decided to redo it so he could play starsky okay so it was just a, it was a tv show first then they made the movie. yeah okay. it came on at the same time around like beretta and like um moonlighting no that was way after was that moonlighting was the, like the 80s this is late. This is late seventies. Was it? Early eighties. Oh, so a huge difference. Well, yeah. Okay. This is around the time of like Hawaii, Hawaii Five O, and twelve. Which I never watched. Right. Your dad probably did. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Which, by the way, I talked to. Um, Itty D. <laughs> I wouldn't call him that. <laughs> He's liable to punch you in your itty you can face. You call him Mr. Puglisi. That's right. Um, he, Just don't call him J Janet unless you're nasty. 
<laughs> he's, oh, it's Miss Jackson. Sorry. He did call me. Well, no, I called him today. But he is planning a visit in October. So he will be making an appearance. We're going to have to figure out how to get him on camera now. Oh, don't you worry. I don't know where we're going to see them. Don't you worry. We'll get it figured out. But we will uh, we will get him on camera so you can see him. Um, Hank Dutton is joining us. Welcome, Hank. Hank he said, big, up? huge, massive car show this uh, this Sunday. You guys should start driving now and head up here. LOL. <laughs> I wish we could. Um, HankD.com. Guys, go check it out. Hank is our amazing web designer. Um, also, check out JohnnyJalopy.com because he's done some fantastic work over there. Yes, these, he has. All of these. Was he able to link the live? I didn't even look. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't look. I'm going to run. Why are you leaving? I'm getting my phone real quick. I'll be right important. back. Huh? It's not important. It's right here. I'm on the chat. Because with the new format, I'm not sure if it's if it's doable. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't be. But let's just check. JohnnyJalape.com. So normally, yep, here's the 18 man. So normally if you click on the print, there is a link to watch it drawn live. Yep, absolutely is. So he was able to make it work. Yay! Thank you. So if you go to the website, click on the design that you want to see. It actually, there's a link there to bring you to the live drawing. So you can watch like what we're doing tonight but for the drawing that you're looking at. So exciting stuff going on over at johnnyjalopi.com. Um, Johnny has been frantic, I'd say, last week. Um, trying to figure out this new machine. I think some of you might have seen the live that he did one night while I was in bed early. He was up late playing with the machine, um, but he did manage to make an ADB logo for me, which I posted. Thank you for your support because we had some really good feedback on it. Um, yeah, it came he, out cool. He also made an ADB sticker of that same design. Now, <laughs> I don't think we'll be selling it. Yes, we will. You think so? Yes. We'll see. We'll see. There is no we'll see. So you're going to mass produce these itty B stickers on that machine. Yeah. It's a pretty good size sticker too. I haven't finalized which, how the, dimen how the dimensions and all that stuff yet, but there will be an itty B sticker. He, he's pretty excited about it. And I have to say, I, I really dig the design. I thought it came out good. I did too. Yeah. So thank you. Um, Tracy Corkville said it is Rocky Mountain. <laughs> so it wasn't Ricky Mountain. <laughs> um, Robert Frost is joining us. I'm here just a little late. Hello, guys from Indiana. Welcome. Um, Howard Pierpont says, come at any time. September 10th through 12th is the Good Guys show. Ooh. Next town over in Loveland, Colorado. Outdoors nice. better than SEMA. Good guys. Exciting. Yeah. Um, Tony Carter, hello from Ohio. Welcome, What's sir. What's going on? Stacy Conine says, How's Johnny's VW bug doing? <laughs> Kona is doing great. Um, when did we last take her out? I feel like it was only it's like been a week a while and a half you. ago. Uh, we went to, uh, it was last Sunday. We went to dinner. Last Sunday? Yeah, it wasn't oh, this, we went this to last Jack's. Sunday, but right. it was a Sunday before. Yeah, a week ago yesterday, yeah. uh, we took her out. We took her over to um, a little waterfront dining place, Captain Jack's, uh, near Tarpon Springs. So she's doing good, though. She started like right a, up. She like loves, yeah, yeah. Mechanically, great. Um, Johnny is still wanting to plan some stuff. But honestly, I mean, the rain has tapered off a little bit. But it's still kind of wet. Very humid still. Very humid. Super hot still. So we're kind of waiting on doing any stuff that requires us being outside and working on her, but it's coming. Those days are coming. Well, not to mention just painting and the humidity is not right. the best results. But I won't tell you what color scheme. No need. You already did. <laughs> People don't remember. They don't even remember. <laughs> um, James Kaiser said 65 bug, by the way. Oh, Very nice. cool. Uh, Kevin Johnson said the sketchy is already looking tight. Thanks. Can you zoom out for people? Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Nice. If you guys are digging it, likes and loves are much appreciated. Uh, Draco said moonlighting. What did he say about moonlighting? 
that it was lame. Moonlighting way back when Bruce Willis still had some hair. Slightly, because I, I don't remember him. I don't remember seeing him in anything where he actually had a full head of hair. He's always been bald or balding. Yeah, kind of in that realm of. Jody Low Face Luciano. Hey, what's up? Is joining us. North Carolina to Florida, 910 to 813. What up, Jalop? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike Frucci said, yes. James Kaiser said, Starsky and Hutch had a 70-minute pilot, which was the movie of the week. Then had over 90 50-minute episodes starting in 75 and ending in 79. There we go. There you go. That was it. pretty good. Thank See? you, James. Fun fact. What did I say? For Starsky and Hutch. I think I said late. Uh, early, late 70s. I did say early 80s, but it was actually... Mid seventies, late seventies. Kevin Johnson wants to know. Um, he said the split screen is perfect, but can the sketch view be centered a bit more? Hmm. Hmm. Like I said. Hmm. Well, you shouldn't be on that one as much as you are right now. I. It's split screen. No, no, the other one. What other one? The screen. This. Yeah. I can't do all three. We've already. Been I famous. know. Yeah, that's where it should be. Okay. Is there. This is where he wants it, guys. This isn't what people wanted, but this is what Johnny wants. Pat Conniff, or Conniff, hi from Wisconsin. Welcome, sir. We have a lot of You're supposed Wisconsin to viewers. Switching in between all of them, I'm not just sticking on one and just leaving to sit there. Well, I'm trying to read the comments and I'm trying to take notes if need be. Yeah, well. Uh, Kevin Johnson said Scani Brothers. What is Scani Brothers? It was probably, uh, yeah. But it was. <laughs> Bob McClurden said, this guy by me owns the original and movie cars. And then he put a link no to kidding. Starsky and Hutch collect collectibles.com. Yes. Very cool. I wonder what people even do. I mean, is it just sitting in a garage or are they just taking it out to shows and stuff? Mm, probably most of them are putting, taking it out to shows and, you know, they're collectors, so they probably sit in their collection and they don't drive them. So what movie car, of all movie cars, would you want? Of a movie car? Yeah, the, of the ones you've drawn so far. If you could have one of the movie cars, own one of the movie cars, which one would it be? Um, gosh. What I've drawn so far. Well, you liked you liked the ones from American Graffiti. Yeah. The problem is, I'd want to redo. <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave the. Uh, leave them the way they are. Yeah. So, do you think then, with the movie cars that these people have, that they'd have to leave it original just yeah, so it's recognized? That's why they buy it. That's why they buy it. They're fans of the car itself. So they don't really change anything. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, like you liked, um, you can go to the other views. What is the, uh, gosh, what's the one I'm thinking of? I don't know. Um, your really mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. beatnik bandit. Let's just say, yeah. Say you had. I mean, car. it wasn't a movie. I think. Would you Would you keep it like that, or would yeah, you still want to customize? It? So that's one you wouldn't touch. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't. If I, it's not my dream to own someone else's necessarily somebody else's car. But if you had it, would you would you drive it like to work and stuff? Yeah, it's not. A, it's a show car. It's not a drivable car. It's not. No. Oh. Well, clearly this one would be. I mean, that's. Yeah, and I wouldn't want this. <laughs> I'm just. Well, the point I'm trying to get at is, would you? Would I don't you drive I, it if you had a car that you. Really if someone liked, handed me a Starsky and Hutch car, I'd drive it to someone who wants to buy it from me, so I could get my car. <laughs> wow. All right. What is, why is that bad? That's fine. Oh, Stacey Conine said um, Corvette summer car. He'd want. Corvette summer car is pretty badass. Hank said they are thinking there's going to be 2,000 to 3,000 cars at the show this weekend. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. Maybe we can overnight him some of our cards. What? <laughs> so he can pass them out when he goes to the show. Bob McLaren says he does, he does shows, appearances of all kinds. Stuff like that with him, yeah. with them. Um, Hank said, Hardcastle and McCormick, that would be my choice. Oh, okay. that's a great car, too. Yeah. 
Stacey Conine said Corvette summer car. Um, Howard Pierpont said some owners get paid to show the car as part of the show publicity. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Russ Randall said the Munster coach. Can you imagine dropping your kids off at school in a Munster coach? <laughs> Tracy Corfell said the, the sketchy area is off center. I know. He knows. Okay, where is it at? Show me so I can fix it. Which way? This way. Well, the problem is, is now that I do that, too, does that? I know. Why I so it put it over a little bit more. How's that? Can you put something underneath your slider? Okay. All right. It is fixed, Tracy. Uh, the McCoy said, we have a movie car in our garage that you drew that you can visit anytime. <laughs> that That's is true. true. Yeah. That is true. Now, do you guys, McCoys, do you do you take the swamp buggy out a lot? Not the swamp buggy. Which one is it? Um, I don't know. The swamp buggy is the one that they have now. Yeah, they also they have like five, six cars. Well, I don't know which one was in the movie. Well, maybe if you knew people, <laughs> you know. I know you. You've drawn. Well, you. I don't know if you drew that one. You drew stuff for you, it. You they have stuff in yeah, it. You packed up. A drawing of the movie car that they have. Oh, that's right. Oh, and I my forgot the name Atlanta. of it. And I forgot the name of it. It's fun. So, do you guys drive all of your cars all the time, or what's your normal daily driver? Or did or do you only take them to shows? Arch, 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 arch. Only to shows, maybe. Kevin Johnson said yes. And my comment is gone. I do not like this. Um, yes, that's what I was trying to say. It's great to see both, but the sketch or screen needs to move over. Yes. So he just fixed that. He said, sorry, just trying to help. Um, Mike Ferrucci said movie car I would love to have would be the 41 Willie's gasser from hot rod. Hmm. I don't think you've done a Willie's. I have. On um, sketchy. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's not surprising that you didn't know. You can see me shaking my head. This is what happens behind the, behind the scenes normally. What do you mean behind the scenes? Because they normally don't get to see the frustration that I have with you and how my eyes get Why are you I frustrated? Uh, Lizzie said, Itty B, I will send out your key ring sometime this week. Yes, I'm excited. Why would you be frustrated? She made me a key ring with turtles on it. I cannot wait to get it. I'm going to hang it in my car, actually. Um, the McCoy said the 65 Fury was in Cyborg Conference. There you That's go. Right. Okay. Okay. Now she remembers. Um, Joey said need four speed movie Mustang or Vanishing Point Challenger. Yeah, that would be a cool car. I, mean, if, I guess. Speed. Okay. So I guess if I was going to pick a car from a movie, I would want uh, the Mad Max car. That'd be great. To drive around the streets. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'd want the Death Wish car, the black one. Vanishing Point would be another good one. Um, yeah, see all the other hot rods, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily want them because I'd want... You'd want to change them. I'd want to do it my way, yeah. Do it my way. You see me rolling my eyes now? Tracy said, I drive a Dodge Magnum. It's an awesome little car. I drive a Dodge Stratus. Drive a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my favorite line. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, the McCoy said, the apocalyptic swamp monkey is my daily driver. Oh, very cool. Topic. Bobby Theriault is joining us. He must have taken a break from his pool game because they nice. play pool on Monday nights. Oh, night. that's right. They do do that. They, they, Welcome, Bobby. They, football as well. They do do. They do do that. So this is just your standard white and red, right? Red with white stripes. That is correct. I thought maybe you would do the guys. I had them. You had them? Oh, and they I had drawn out. them, yeah. He had and done they a came out really sketch. cool. My little my little cartoons of them came out really cool. I may still try to do it. And maybe just import them. Just to, you know, I may try to do them if I have time right now. Oh, right now. Okay. Yeah, because you are moving pretty quick on this one. Well, we're not even at 30 minutes yet. Well, there's not still lots of chrome and, and you're already tires coloring. and stuff, so. So this one's looking pretty cool. Uh, Lane Kelton said, my daily driver is a Kia Soul. I have over 300,000 miles on it now. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, James Kaiser said the vehicle of choice was Starsky's two-door Ford Grand Reno, which was bright red with a large white vector stripe on both sides. Approximately four different cars were used for filming. Earlier shots had red wing mirrors, except the pilot, which had silver mirrors. Usually for long shots or footage used in later scenes, close-ups in later episodes had silver wing mirrors. The Torino was nicknamed the striped tomato by Hutch in the episode Snowstorm, and fans subsequently referred to it. There's more. But it won't let me, it won't let me open the chat. Let's see. That's what he wrote, but I can't open the rest of it. How weird. Um, Mike Ferrucci said, Lane, you know you have to do the dance every time you get out of that car. <laughs> right. Draco said, um, I watched my 56 Chevy, or I'm sorry, my 56 Chrysler sit in the driveway. Great on gas that way, <laughs> I would imagine. Is it not running, Draco, or you just Still don't take it out? Huh? Still working on it. Oh, is he? Okay. Um, Kevin Johnson said, the more you know, dot, dot, dot. Right. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite car would be. I don't know. I guess it would help if I watched, watched movies? movies. Or any movies, for that matter. I've watched movies. I think you don't watch movies. Yes, I do. No, you don't. What's the last movie you watched? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Well, we were watching Jaws, right? You didn't watch Jaws. I didn't watch You watched it. two seconds of it and went, oh, why are we watching this? Can we watch the other yeah, thing? I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. No, you had something on I was watching. No. I don't know what movie car I would want, though. I mean, I, I pretty much drive anything. I'm not really picky. Um, I don't think I'd want to watch them or drive the Knight Rider car, but I did like Knight Rider as a show. Like, I think it'd be cool to have a car that did all that stuff, although most of the cars now do all that stuff. So. That's very true. Um, Herbie, I always thought was cool, but again, that was another car that came to life. <laughs> I have to think about cars coming to life. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what my favorite car would be. Kevin Johnson said the dog van from Dumb and Dumber sold on eBay for over 60 grand. I believe it. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah. I, I definitely wouldn't ride right around that. Why not? Because... Uh, Mike Ferrucci said, uh, or Lane said, Mike Ferrucci, definitely. If I quit tomorrow, I couldn't complain. I've never had anything outside the normal maintenance with it. Oh, he's talking about his soul. Yeah, they're supposed to be good little cars. Tiny, though. I don't know if I, although I guess it's no smaller than the bug. Oh, it's probably bigger than the it bug. It probably is. <laughs> uh, Bobby Theriot said the DeLorean. That would be a fun one. That would be a fun one. Yeah, maybe the DeLorean. So I mean, it was a cool car. But no, okay. I got it. What? I just thought of it. The movie car I would, would want would be the uh, Ferrari GT California in Ferris Bueller. Oh, the one that, that fell out of the garage upstairs? Yeah. <laughs> Before it fell out. Before it fell out. Yeah. Mike Furchie wants to know what my favorite car is. I think, like, not movie cars necessarily. I've always wanted a Jeep. I think I, I might get a Jeep. I think that would probably be really? a car that I'd want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like. You were so you were so against it. No, I wasn't. I wasn't against it. Okay. I was against you getting a Jeep because it wasn't practical. But for me to have a Jeep oh. would be different. Because we already have the truck. I think we need a truck and a Jeep. Okay. Yeah. I, I drive an Equinox right now, and I, I do like it, but it's getting older now. I'm looking at those. Uh, it's like four years old now. The new Broncos that aren't out yet, but they're looking pretty badass. Maybe. I, I still think I'd want a Jeep. I think the Jeep would be fun for us to just kind of trot around town in. And then. Have, we, you, have you seen the new Bronco? No. No, but it's the same thing that I have. It's an SUV. I'd want... It's not the same thing as what you have. Does it have a top that comes off? Mm -hmm. Oh, it does? Yes, it does. Oh. Well, then I'll have to maybe take a look at it. I no, like not it. the Bronco Sport. Make sure when you're looking, you don't look for the Bronco Sport. I'm not going to look for anything. You can show me. Bronco. 
James Kaiser said the Green Hornets car was pretty rad too. Yeah, that's a pretty cool car. I'll give you that. I'll what give you was that. It? I believe it was a uh I think it was a Chrysler. Oh. Um, Jody said nice one, Jalop. Hashtag Ferrari. Yeah, that's a good Ferrari. You've always liked the Audis though, too. Really? Wasn't it? Did I? Yeah. When I first met you, you were like, out of the sports cars that were out there. Well, like the R8. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that an Audi? It is an Audi. Okay. So isn't that what I said? <sighs> Challenging me today, sir. You started it. Challenging me today. You today. started it. Um, Off Howard, camera. Oh, Bobby Theriot said, no Jeep. I've had a couple. I have two. Um, yeah, right. Johnny has two and has loved it. And really, ever since he got rid of the Jeep, so we had. Of course, I had time, a Jeep Jeep, not a. We got a CJ7. Yeah. Um, at the time, what year was that? 77? 79. 79, CJ7 he had. Um, at the time, he had a car. Thunder Jeep. I had a car. He had his. Did you have a fast car? Did it drive so fast? <laughs> Do you want me to sing it? Because I will. Go ahead. No. Go um, ahead. My son had a car. Johnny had his daily driver. You had. Did you have a fast car? You had your dad's Ford Did Ranger. Drive so fast. Shut up. So there were too many cars, and the Jeep was parked in our driveway, or not in our driveway, in our yard. And I said, "Something's got to give here. We got to do something with this thing." And you wound up selling it. Yeah, I regret. And it. then he regretted it. And then every every seventy nine CJ seven we see, he wonders if it's Thunder Jeep. Well, because the guy was said he was going to restore it. Right. So I've so always felt bad projects. that he, I mean, I, I certainly did not tell him to sell you it. You forced me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. It's fine. You should feel bad because you forced me. So then, so then you have no kahunas of your own to make. No, not the time. Oh, not the time. I didn't have any kahunas. Okay. I was going to say, borrowing some. I was going to say you didn't have the Johnny sacks. No. At the time. <laughs> no. Um, at that, so at that time, my, my sack bad. was, and I, I would like to get another Jeep for him, eh. also for me. I me. really don't even drive anymore, I because I work from home. If I have an errand to run, like the night I go get my nails done, that's literally all. I, and I could probably Uber to do that. I don't really need a car, <laughs> but if we're gonna have a second car. Well, if we go Why with what I said, I think our second car would. Here's what we should get: the the Dodge Demon, uh, five hundred, Challenger. Why a Challenger? It's too low. I can't get in low stuff. Remember my so knees. Low, so low. Remember my knees. So low. I'm an old woman now. My knees. It's true, you I are. Can't. I had a Malibu. An ancient. Oh, I had a Malibu. Well, and at the time I had heels on. So getting into a lower vehicle wasn't good. That's why I got the Equinox. I literally am at the same level. I just slipped right into the car. You slither in this in. truck. I do need to hop up in, I will say. And the Jeep, I probably have to hop up in. Because if we got one, he wouldn't leave it factory standard. We'd have to do something. Yeah, it's got to get a, we have to. It's gonna but cool. I will say this. I factory don't, standard. I, isn't that what it is called? <laughs> <laughs> what? The old factory standard. Factory specs. Um, <laughs> I will tell you, I am not going to be that person that customizes the crap out of it. I'm not going to do that. I won't. I'm not going to color coordinate every little no, thing. No, that's, it's no, we much. wouldn't do that. We're it's not going to, that's not us. And I don't, like, I know a lot of people who, go like four wheeling and mudding and stuff in these brand new Jeeps. You don't know anybody who does. Yes, that. I do. Name one. I'm not going to. They names. don't. I'm not. Naming they names. don't. I watch the videos. That's not four wheeling or mudding where they're going. Really? Yeah. They're climbing rocks. That's not them. They may have gone to a place where people do that. I've seen the videos. They're, it's not and them you know doing exactly it. who I'm talking about. I do. And they're not doing it. I will show you the videos. I have evidence. Perfect. Anyways, I don't want to do that. I will guarantee you they're not. Why don't you want to Mine do that? Mine is going to be a street Jeep because I'm not spending eighty thousand dollars on a car. Then we we will not be buying a Jeep. I will buy the Jeep. No, you won't. Why won't I? I won't allow it. 
<laughs> You're, you can't forbade me. Forbade you. I forbade you. <laughs> you can't forbade me. You don't, you don't buy that thing that just to drive around the street. It's literally going to sit because I'm not going to drive. You can leave the keys to your truck Why? and take Fine. the Jeep. Bye. Bye. The McCoy said Lisa wants the power wagon from Simon and Simon. Oh. I would probably wind up in the. Um, mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. National Lampoon's uh, the Griswold family wagon. Yes. Yeah, the family truckster. <laughs> Even I would have. <laughs> Here's my budget. Um, Howard you Pierpont think you love said, it now? Wait till you drive. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or no, you think you hate it now? Wait till you drive. Um, Howard Pierpont said, I will wear JJ merch with your merch. PM me. If it's a shirt, I'll wear my JJ hat. So are you talking about Itty B merch? If I do Itty B merch? Like, I'm how doing. fun would it be to do an Itty B merch? Me since. I'm not doing a different. Oh. What? Nothing. It's fine. Why wouldn't you want an Itty B beanie? Who wants one of those? Because that's. That's Nobody what I'm all about. I'm a that. beanie person. No, you're not. What kind of product with Itty B on it would you even want, guys? Stickers, I think, is pushing it. Because we can sell those for like We're going to have Itty B Boostiers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Corfield said, I could see Johnny with the 007 James Bond car. Which one? Yeah, really. Have there been... been several? Yeah, every, every it's movie. It's a different car every time. Every movie. Uh, Lane said the Bronco well, I would, looks cool. I would cool. like a DB9. would be cool. Um, Lane said the Bronco looks cool, but I'm not a Ford guy. Had bad luck with them. Yeah, I'm uh, not I, a Ford person either. Me too. Uh, I will say that the the technology and stuff that looks like it's going into the new Ford it looks pretty pretty sweet. Don't um, let it fool you. Uh, James Kaiser said Imperial. Chrysler Imperial, yeah. Um, Jody said Itty B Dude Rag, or Jeff Bell said Itty B Dude Rag. Yes, that is something we could do. We still have not done those yet. So let me scoot back up because I missed some comments here. I missed a lot of comments here, guys. Um, let's see. There we go. Jody said, get a track hawk, Itty. What's a track hawk? Mm. I don't know what that is. What is it? It sounds fun. Track hawk. Track hawk. H A W K. Is it from Mana? Walkin? No. <laughs> um, Howard Pierpont said my dealer is offering the Bronco for fifty three thousand. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. You got which, a dealer? Which package though? Oh. What what kind of package do we need? We want probably the, uh, I think it's called the Wild Trail or um, or it's the uh, X Edition or, yeah. Ooh. Tracy Corfell said, I think it was an Austin Martin. Because X is going to give it to you. Maybe. Um, Spud said, the best movie car was Eleanor, 67 Ford Mustang, you know, the GT500. Yeah, Eleanor was a great car. Um, yeah. In that in that movie, like the new uh, Gone of Sixty Seconds, I would not take Eleanor. I would have taken the Forty Nine Merc that they Ooh, picked in front I of. I want to say it was in front of like a casino or something, because it was sick. Had a sick flame job on it. Tony Gautner has a question. Yeah. So in the Jalopy household, theoretically, who would be Starsky and who would be Hutch? Clearly, I would be Starsky. Goofy. No, I'm driving. Oh, that's the only reason. Yeah. I thought I thought Starsky was also the smarter one. No. He wasn't. Starsky was not the smarter one. Oh, okay. Well, then that does make sense. Hutchins was the you know kind of had, had the had his brain together. His name was Hutchins. Mm -hmm. His last name was Hutchins. Yes. And all this time, I thought it was just Hutch. Well, they shortened so it. I shortened it. That is so funny. Kevin Johnson said, I just want the list of cars from Gone in 60 Seconds. That's, That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike Ferrucci said, Spud, if I'm going, 
if I'm going Eleanor, it has to be from the original Gone in 60 Seconds, the 73 Mustang. Yeah, I didn't. The uh, the new version had too much too much body paint cladding on it, I, in my opinion. Still a cool looking car though. Uh, Stacy said Johnny can get one of those new Jeep trucks. They got four doors in a box in the back, and it's a Jeep. But, but I, I've seen small. those. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them. Um, Hank said, didn't Jabberjaw write in a car? Wasn't it a buggy? Sure. Who's Jabberjaw? <laughs> What's Jabberjaw? Is it a person? Jabberjaw is a shark. <laughs> a shark? Yeah. From what show? I think it was the Wacky Racers. Maybe. Was he Could in a wrong. car? Could be wrong. That's... I've heard of Jabberjaw. You kind of are Jabberjaw. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Lane said, I'd rather walk in a ditch and carry a Dodge Hubcap before I drive a Ford other than one I build. That's true. So even like the old Fords were not good? Because I think they were. Like the shoebox Fords mm -hmm. and Ford trucks, the old Ford yep. trucks. Preach, babe. Right? Preach. I, like I think they started going downhill like maybe 80s. Late 70s, 80s. I don't know. Jeff Bell said, what's crapping in? And he said, a big kahuna. Uh, Wesley Volkerson says, sorry about being late. I was involved in my art project and got into that zone. What kind of art project are you working on? Yeah, what's going on? What are you up to? Um, Jeff Bell said, B-Rad and Mally Boutte. What? <laughs> what is he saying? Draco said, how women drive in high heels is beyond me. I know. I know I did it for years. Now I don't even wear shoes to work. So glorious. Kevin Johnson said, I've never been able to keep any of my vehicles factory standard. Yeah, I know someone like that as well. Actually, this truck is probably the one thing you haven't. It's killing me. I know. It is to. killing me. He wants to. We just haven't done it. It is killing me. Speaking of customizations, my car needs another coat of the blah 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 plasty dip or whatever it was. Dip, right? The plasty. Uh, one year for my birthday, I have a white Equinox, and um, Johnny took uh, all my chrome and sprayed. You had it. no chrome. What was it? Come on, your wheels. Yeah, your wheels weren't chrome. What were they? They're just some, like aluminum or. Oh. Like a powder coated lingo. They weren't a powder coated. No, I don't really know the lingo. <laughs> they were they were gray and or silver, um, but he made them black. <laughs> gray and or. And then I don't like the gold Chevy badge. Never did, never will. And he wrapped that for me as well. So I wrapped it black. Uh, James Kaiser said, in its final year, Ford produced a thousand Starsky and Hunter replica cars. All of them were two door coupes, but could be had with any of the, but could be had with any of the available at this point, all V8. Hmm. Is that what this one was, V8? Of course. Mike Fruchy said, Wednesday night on Dunedin Causeway, they do Jeep night. Yeah. I don't know if I'd join a group. Yeah. I don't know if I would join the group. So, yeah, we've actually been down there on a Wednesday night because we've seen them. Mm -hmm. uh, why were we down there? Maybe just, oh, I think we were kayaking one night. That's when we went. Shooting the cruise. Shooting the cruise. <laughs> Tony Gauntner said, my movie car would have to be the Aston Martin in 007. Yeah, that's a good one. They are nice cars. Um, Lane said, we have a Ford shop truck, 2020 model. It's been in the shop for a month, 30 K miles. We traded in a Chevy for it and I told them they were making a mistake. So no Ford ever again. That's how, excuse me. That's how I was with Dodge. I had a couple Dodges and I felt like every Dodge we had the transmission went. Mm. We had a Dodge, uh, Ram van, like 1500. Ram, Ram, oh, Ram van. <laughs> Is that how I said it? <laughs> we had a Dodge Ram Bam. Bam. <laughs> It was it was horrible. Um, Howard Pierpont said, Eddie B or any of the viewers for oh, dude rag. Jeff Bell said Eddie B dude rag. 
Uh, let me get back to my comments here. Again. Are you sharing the comments on the screen? Some of them. Are you moving the screen around? Kevin Johnson said, Have Itty you... B lanyards, take my money. I know. Have you been changing the screenshots? No, babe. I have all the screenshots that everybody wants to Come on. see. You need to be switching it around. Okay. Dead TV is boring. It was. How is it dead TV when they're watching you draw? It's the dead same they've watched for the last TV. It's the fine. whole point of it. So you're watching him here drawing. That's why now. we changed it. Um, Kevin Johnson said, ADB and lanyards take my money. I know. This is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Spud said, do you mean an itty beanie? I know. Wouldn't that be cute? Mm -mm. I think people would wear it. Um, Hank said, how about an itty bee figure or JJ and itty bee keychains? Hank, I don't know how does many he, times. Does he, have, does he just constantly just want to tease about it? Or I don't know how many times time? we have to ask you about it. Get in touch with us. Give us a figure. We will buy them. We'll do a trial Let's run. do this. Let's do it. Stop fooling around. Do it. Either want to do it or you don't. You know what's funny? Get off the pot. Do you know what's funny? You know what? From this show, it was do it. <laughs> that was his yes. Line. It was from this movie. It. it was from this movie. Do it. it. Wasn't the show? It's a movie. But Starsky, I believe, was the one that said, "Do it." It was Ben Stiller who said it. Yes. Yes. The McCoy said, uh, uh, "DCCF has another leg. He can do an ADB tattoo on." He could, and then he could rub his legs together, <laughs> and they could kiss. Aww. I don't. I don't think he'd want to tattoo a woman of of my face on his body. Maybe maybe a different like pinup girl woman or something. Um, Mike Fruci said Rachel was the name they gave the Mercury. I love that car as well. I do like Mercs. 49 Merc was like my first car that I fell in love with. Yeah, the fact did that you're calling it? it a 49 Merc is pretty awesome. Did I see it at a car show? When did I first see it? First time I took you to a car show. It was the purple one, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I still remember that. Um, Jeff Bell said the Wild Stallions, and he used Wise, W-Y-L-D. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kevin Johnson said Hong Kong Fooey's car. Yeah. What is that from? What is that? You don't know who Hong Kong Fooey is? No. Oh, geez. It sounds like a made up person. It's not. What is it? Hong Kong Fooey. What is it from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did you lose it? I'm gonna freeze. So you're not sharing the other screen, This me sharing the screen, so should I just undo that? I'm flipping to it every now and again. Yes, okay. calm down. I'm just saying, because it's taking up. Then turn it off. Lane Kelton said, my dream car is a five-window coupe. I'm almost there. Just got to build it. Sorry, I'm not trying to rub it in. And yes, it's a Ford, but the 30s, that's the only Ford I drive. Yeah, <laughs> I like a 20s in the 30s. And Lane also in said, the, the sketch is looking great, by the way. So. Uh, Stacy said Jabberjaw was a Hanna Barbera comic, but Jabberjaw sounds like Curly from the Three Stooges. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tracy said my Dodge Ram truck had four by four has had trans problems since I had it. See, this is what I'm saying. Ours we actually, no problems. yeah, yours was fine. We had a 2014 up until Johnny got the new truck, and it ran fine, thankfully. Um, Draco said that's why they call it a shop truck. It's always in the shop. True story. <laughs> True story. Hank said, whoa, Black Betty, Ramble Man. Whoa, Black Betty. <laughs> Hit us up, Hank. You want to get in on this? Make some moolah. Let's do it. Bob McLaren said, my friend has a brand new Chevy truck, 3,000 miles. The engine went. Ah. Mm. Replaced it, and a month later, the transmission went. Wow. You know what? It's the it's the luck of the draw there sometimes because you just never know what you're going to get. I had that Malibu. I had a brand new Chevy Malibu right off the showroom. Driver floor. error. It was not driver error. Owner error is it what was all not, that was. It yep. was a push start, nope. and I would push it, nothing. Nope. Several times. Owner error. Brought it in, had it looked at, gave it back, yep. said owner it was error. fixed. Owner error. You're, Complete, you're an owner error. Complete owner error. Tracy Cortville said, love the split screen. 
Thank you. So are you saying I'm doing a fantastic job producing? Thank you. Um, Lane Kelton said Draco cycles right. Uh, James Kaiser said, don't forget the front license plates. 537ONN was the plate number in the blue and yellow California plate. You got it. Write that down. Good call, James. You want me to? Yep. Um, let me find it again. I had it on there, but I lost it. I had to redo the unit. Uh, oh. So it's 537ONN Cali blue and yellow plate. Got it. See? Making notes. Tracy said, we get to see you both and the drawing at the same time. We're sorry. <laughs> Hank said, yeah, I know. I've been dragging my feet. Long story, but something exciting soon. We hope we are uh, the first to hear of your exciting news because you know we are big fans. We are huge fans. Huge fans, even. Hank said, Hong Kong Fooey, yes. <laughs> uh, Mike Ferrucci said, Itty, did you ever watch cartoons on a Saturday morning? Yes, I did. Doesn't sound like it. Tom and Jerry, mainly. Um, I did watch a lot of Bugs Bunny stuff. Looks like you missed all the Hanna-Barbera stuff. No, I watched some of it. I just don't remember the names of the people. Saturday mornings were cut a bit short. Why is that? Because we were forced outside. <laughs> um, Lane said, Bob McLaren, and that's odd. I've heard about transmission issues, but versus uh, the Ford issues, the Chevy is more reliable right now, considering how everything is right now. It's hard to even get anything new. And we've yeah, witnessed Yeah, very this. true, yes. We've driven by several uh, dealerships, and they have, they have, like, no cars. I, in fact... Our Chevy dealership barely even had regular cars, let alone trucks. Yeah. But all the trucks were out. It was crazy. Uh, James Kaiser said Speed Buggy was cool as well. Oh, Spud said Hong Kong Fooey is the number one super guy. He was the number one super guy. Was that in his little song? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hank said, I always liked the little mobsters ride. They had like 50 mobsters that piled in that car. <laughs> I don't remember that. You missed um, so much. Your childhood, and this, it's your job to teach me. And you, I try. You me. won't watch don't anything. Try, you don't. Even. You will not watch anything unless it's HGTV I or enjoy, cooking channels. I enjoy my cooking shows. Yeah. I enjoy my yeah. redo shows. It's how I get my inspiration. For what? For more projects. What projects? I don't know. You've been you working know on any I'm projects? Planning. You got nothing. You don't know what I'm playing. You got nothing. Kevin Johnson said Stallone's Merc from Cobra was sweet too. Yeah. Um, um, Bob mm -hmm. said, oh, I know. Just got a 2022 Tucson. Almost impossible to find, especially in the color I wanted. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the car market. I do. The McCoy said Fords are like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Fingers crossed. What's going on with the market? Tell us. Educate us, babe. It's all about the chips. Can get the chips. What chips? The computer chips. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Where do we get those from? Overseas. What do you think? Overseas. Yeah, you think we're making them here? China. In China. I was gonna say. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Johnson said, "Ruma zoom zoom," and then he put p p p p p b b b b b l l l l t t c c t. Plibit. <laughs> Russ Randall said, will it have a red Kojak light or no? Of course. Oh, he's not done yet. He is not done yet. Uh, Mike Frucci said, I love my 05 Chevy Avalanche. I rebuilt the transmission almost two years ago. Yeah, some of them, I guess, you know, once you have it for that long and it, it were to go out, you know, when the car was, well, how old was it then? 15 years old, 14 years old, yeah, then it, it might be time. But after just a couple of years, and then you already have to replace a major thing like that. Although I guess it would be under warranty if it was that new. But Maybe. Um, let's see. As long as the, the whatever went wrong, it's a factory defect. Uh, James Kaiser said split screen is killer. And have you seen a positive response in your artwork since your debut on TV? Actually, James, Johnny's debut on TV was, what, seven years ago now? Yeah. <laughs> Six or seven years ago now. So, yeah, actually, it's it's done quite a bit because um, they are uh, showing Full Custom Garage all over the world now in different places. They and, are, yeah. 
Um, we are getting a lot more fans, a lot more people joining the broadcast on Monday nights that yeah, are fans of Johnny's cool. Instagram page. Very thankful for the exposure. But yes, um, and really in recent times as well, when they're showing the replays, we notice an uptick in new followers. Yeah, it's great. Um, when the show's running. So that's cool. Uh, Lane said, JJ, I hope you don't break a taillight on your truck. $738 to replace one of mine. Mm. Yeah, we also hope he doesn't do that. <laughs> Jody said, China, J H I N A. <laughs> China. Hank said, I heard they can't get enough workers to make mine. Uh, the more they need to make the chips. Yes. That is. What was the number again? True. Um, it was 537 O N N. Ford has 20,000 trucks sitting in Louisville, James Kaiser said. Yep. Wow. Just waiting for the, because they mm -hmm. can't do anything without the chips. 537. Um, O-N-N. -N. No, O-N-N. O-N-N. -N. Bob McLaren said, and the biggest factory burned down to boot. Oh. Why were they making boots? I wonder if um, it has something to do with COVID and companies putting time and effort into like, uh, I almost said vibrators, <laughs> ventilators, I meant to say, ventilators. Why would they be ventilating? Is it a ventilator? I don't, what, are, what are you talking about? What do people, the breathing machines go on? They're ventilators. What does that got to do with cars? I'm saying, did you hear my question? Does anybody really listen to you? I apparently not. Hank just gave me Jenny's phone number, but did it wrong. He put eight, eight five seven six three zero nine. Eight six seven five. It's eight six seven five three zero nine. Eight six seven five it's 867 Would you do it on accident? Jenny, 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 Jenny. You gotta, you gotta sing it like Forrest Gump. Jenny, Jenny. <laughs> It's just funnier. <laughs> chatty, chatty. Who can I turn to? Who can I turn to? A box you, of chocolates. You make you be so proud of little followers. <laughs> Kevin Johnson said again with the China. <laughs> Chickity China. The Chinese chicken had a drumstick and his brain stopped ticking. Watch next files with no lights on. Mm. Yeah, I know the words. Um, James Kaiser said, speaking of chips, you should consider doing the seven Mary three and four motorcycle from chips. You did do chips, didn't you? No. No. What did you do? I didn't do anything. We talked about you doing chips. Because they call me Mr. Chips. Tater salad. <laughs> That's chips. You don't know that. I would. I used to watch chips. Chips. I did watch. You did watch chips. Yes, I did. You watched chips. I watched chips. You watched chips. I did. Okay. I also ate okay. chips. What was Poncharello's car? They just had the bikes. No. I don't know. What did he drive home? It was like a brown. It was a brown car. Mmm. Uh. Yeah, brown car. Okay. It was brown, wasn't it? What was the other guy's like name? Copper? Ponch? No, I just said Ponch. Oh. What was his partner's it was John. name? John. John what? Ponch and John. John what? <laughs> you didn't watch the show. Yes, I did. You didn't know his name. I had the biggest crush on Eric Estrada. <laughs> Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada. Eric Jostada. <laughs> Chips. Yeah. <laughs> so, they were so, so what was uh, John's last name? John Smith. Was it Smith? And what was uh, what was Ponch's name? Like, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watched it, all right? <laughs> I just knew Ponch and John. Yeah, they were on motorcycles, and mm -hmm. he would go Shh, seven Mary three. <laughs> Why would he say his own call sign? <laughs> And who else. was seven Mary three? I don't, I don't, I never knew what any of that meant. What about seven Mary four? Well, that had to be Ponch then. Uh, which one was which? I think John was three, Ponch was four. Okay, okay. And what was what was Poncharello's name? I want to say Victor. Victor Poncharello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where did he meet Sally Field? <laughs> she wasn't in it. 
Oh my gosh. On this episode of Poncharello. Oh, it was Baker, John Baker. Ponch had a firebird. Tracy Corpel said it was John Baker. Oh, uh, it was John Baker's car. That was the brown one. Brown what? I want to say it was like a uh, El Camino or something. No. What was it? No. But it was brown. It was brown. I know. Actually, it was a multi-tone car. But it was, it was truck, actually. Primarily. <laughs> it's it a Chevy was, truck. It was a Chevy truck? Yeah. In brown? Yeah. Huh. For the times, that was pretty sweet. Was it? Was it lowered? Mm -mm. James Kaiser said, I'm Four in on that drive. chip strong if you do one. Ponch drove a Mini Cooper and a Firebird. He they did had, drive a Mini Cooper. They had Mini while. Coopers back then? I thought Mini Coopers was a newer. That's know. a remake. Of the original car. Mini Cooper. Yeah. Was the Mini Cooper a UK car that they brought over? A UK car. In England. Here's car. where you use things broadly. You use words broadly. A UK as in United Kingdom as in England car. Was it a car from overseas, the original Mini Cooper? It was a car from overseas. Okay. Yeah. You know what I had? <laughs> Who makes <laughs> Remember, I was telling you, I did that quote today for somebody, and it was an MG. What is that? Yeah. What's an MG stand for? Yeah. You don't know, do you? No. Okay. Stumped. No clue. Stumped. What does the MG stand for? Morgan Garage. No, it isn't. Um, Bob McLaren said John Chips. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I thought it was J-O-N, not J-O-H-N. I thought is how he spells his name. So I'm not really sure. James Kaiser said, right. Kevin Johnson said, Eric Empanada was my favorite. That's right, Eric Empanada. It was Eric Estrada. Uh, Tony Gautner said, every auto manufacturer has a shortage of chips, but Apple has all they need. Apple right. chips are good. I've had them. They're tasty. Um, Draco said, uh, empanadas are awesome. <laughs> oh, and then he said, fall guy. Yes. The um, truck that was John's was the truck that was they in the used fall, in the fall guy. Guy. Mike Fritchie said, I thought John drove the Mini Cooper. Maybe he let him, maybe Ponch let him borrow it. Was it John Poncharelli? What? Was his name John Poncharelli? Why would there be two Johns? <laughs> That's why I called him John and Ponch. Oh. What was, what was John's last name? Frank. Frank? Poncharello. Oh. And it's not Poncharelli. <laughs> it's Poncharello. <laughs> With an O? Poncharello. Oh. Frank Poncharello. Okay. Yeah. What was the big fat guy's name that rode the motorcycle? Their co worker guy? Yeah. Fez? No. Fez? <laughs> <laughs> different show. Fez? No. Yeah. I don't, oh. How'd you know, babe? It was Fez. Sorry. Why are you knocking me down? Sorry. I get knocked down. Oh, up again. <laughs> oh. Um, in the Hank said Grossman. in the 70s and 80s, it was cool to drive a streak colored vehicle down the road. Um, Jack Aaron Fleming is joining us. I ain't caught y'all in a while. Glad to tune in. Welcome to the broadcast. You sir. have made it to the perfect night to be watching. Starsky and Hutch. Starsky right. and Hooch. Hmm. Um, Paul Marziani said Morris Garage. Is that truly what MG stands for? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, James Kaiser said John Baker had a Chevy 4x4 step side with a lift and a roll bar. Yes, it was a sweet truck. Mike Fridgey said James Kaiser, I remember the truck. I thought he also drove the Mini Cooper. Hmm. Uh, the McCoy said uh, with Heather Thomas in a bikini next to it. Well, the next fall to guy. The truck? The fall oh, the guy. fall guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lane said, Draco, my favorite show as a kid, The Dukes, All American Hero, A Team, Magnum, PI, and Chips. And we've done half of those. We have. Um, James Kaiser said, Bruce Jenner was on half a season while Ponch was in contract dispute. Really? Hmm. Yeah, they didn't get along in real life. Who? Ponch and John. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. But on the show, they were good. It's well, they really, they really weren't that good on the show either. Like, I always felt like there was some kind of undertone of uh, jealousy. Yeah. Blanche was a 
An empanada. It was an empanada. <laughs> Um, but then, but then they would always come together at the end, and they would do some kind of. Because John would always have to save the day. Freeze frame of them going. John would always have to come in and save the day. Some crazy crap. He was a bit of a hothead, wasn't he? Punch. Punch. No, he a punch. Yeah. No, he was just a loose cannon. It, wouldn't that be hothead? No, he wasn't like angry all the time. He just didn't. He wasn't a rule follower. John was more the straight laced. He was the straight laced. I clearly I didn't watch the show. You clearly didn't. Um, Jack Aaron Fleming said, my kind of night, TV cars. Yup, tuning in for this one was a good one. Starsky and Hutch. This is one that people have asked for, and um, we've been meaning to do for quite a while. When I say we, I mean him. Um, what about including Pontius RV in the back of the chips drawing? Yeah, his big RV. <laughs> Kevin Johnson said, so I'll funny, get I was just watching that episode, which is funny. Oh, you were just watching chips? Yeah. When was it on? It's on every day. When? What channel? Like three o'clock. Oh, when you're napping. Me TV. Hmm. No, when I'm working. Oh, so you're watching TV while you're working. At, on my break. Perfect. My lunch break. You taking a lunch break at three o'clock in the afternoon when you? Come when I close, break? yes. Okay. He's walking his way out of this one, guys. You Lizzie said this anyway. is her new screensaver. She's digging it. Likes and loves, guys. If you like where this one's going. Uh, Mike Fritchie said, Draco, I had uh, one on my closet door growing up. Um, MG was Morris Garage, Tony Gautner said. Okay. I've, I've never heard of MG before. And when he said MG. It's not surprising. Anything. When he said MG, I was like, okay. And then he said midget. He's, this guy is an did, MG midget. Did you did you go OM? You were like, OMG? No. <laughs> no. Um, he, had the, he had that and he had the Barracuda, I told you. Right. That. So yeah, he's dun, 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 Um, Hank, so I like how we went from computer chips to chips. The police motors. It's true. Um, and I'm gonna bring in Cape Cods because we enjoyed those over the weekend, and they were delish. Another. You should be putting him up here, like front and center. Okay. So people. Are you switching screens? Are you moving things around? Are you keeping alive? People like this view. I'm doing what people want. We are, are you are, keeping it lively? Are you moving yes. it around? I'm not moving anything. Are you putting up people's comments? I'm keeping split screen. Are you putting up people's comments? The cool ones people say? Probably not. I'm just, now I'm just clicking on stuff. James Kaiser said, what car was used in the TV show Vegas and who drove it and where did he park it? Answer. <laughs> you can't see yeah. answer the question. Well, you can't answer it in the question. You got to give people a minute. He said, answer 57 bird in his house. <laughs> <laughs> James Kaiser said, Dan Tanner. Um, Tracy Cordville said, what? I thought all Johnny did was his drawings and merch. What kind of work do you do? Yeah, I have a day Good job. Question. We both have day jobs. You this have a day job? <laughs> I do have a day job. That's incredible. I am an insurance saleswoman. I sell Tools. lies. <laughs> Johnny is a tool salesman. Now he's a he's a retail manager. So yes, we do this on the side, guys. On you the side, the lifts, uh, not a hobby, not a hobby, but definitely not our main deal. Kevin Johnson said segways can be tricky to ride. They can be. I've never been on one, and quite honestly, I don't think you. Could do I don't it. think it's a good idea. <laughs> you barely can stand normal. Fun fact: I've never been on a jet ski either. That is a fun Here's fact. Here's another fun fact: someone has promised to take me on a jet ski. Yeah. And we've never gone. Why is that? What else? Are we? we were just talking about ATVs, right? Yeah. We were talking about maybe going ATV. A <laughs> you said it. A. TVs. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about going um, a trail riding, a if you will. TVing. Um, and I don't even know if I'd want to do that by myself. I think I'd rather just hold on to you. How fun would that be? I don't want to do that. You want to race me? No, I don't want you on with me. You don't? You don't no. want me holding you? No. Holding your ball tee? No. Why would I want that? Because. Boring. Kevin Johnson said, yep, I already read segways. Definitely digging the split screen. Mike Ferrucci's liking it. Thank you. 
Thank you. So the other screen that we do have available is um, just the actual drawing screen. So this is um, broadcasting right from Johnny's computer direct. So you're not seeing his hand in the way, you're just seeing the print develop, which I think for some people is kind of cool. But a lot of people like to watch the overhead. So here's his overhead. Let me do um, full screen of, oh, here we go. Solo layout of the overhead. And we've got our solo layout of the two of us. Hey. Hi. I do enjoy the split screen. How do you do? How do you do? Um, Hank said, um, so is run DMC. What? Tricky, I think. Oh, it is tricky. Um, Draco said Tana, T-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Lane said the mall cop made it look easy. He did, but he probably had some practice on that thing before they filmed it. He did make it look easy. Tony Gonner said MG is now owned by a Gina company, S-I-A. Gina. <laughs> he said Gina. <laughs> so we're almost at, at an hour that we're at? Um, we were at an hour 15. Okay. Well, Sean, I'm done. You're done already? Yeah. Well, let me finish reading these. Um, a, little, a little extras in here then while you're doing that. Mike Frucci said, I was down by your job Friday coming back from Palm Harbor. You should have stopped in nice. to say hello. Kevin Johnson said, jet skis are fun for five minutes tops. ATVs are great. Yeah, I, I'm thinking ATV might be the way to go. I mean, I, I enjoy the paddling, like when we do our kayaks and stuff on the water. But I don't know. I think an ATV would be fun. I think I'd be better in control of that and less likely to fall off of it. Um, Draco said, those are tricky to ride. I tried one, not for me. I know. Hank said, here's a fun fact. The human being can now digest corn. Make sure you get your share of street corn. Oh, all of a sudden we can digest corn? Is this something new? Is it because of all of the other um, chemicals we put in our body that it's just automatically... It's in our bodies. We're now able. I'm excited. You know, I'm a huge corn fan, so... Um, James Kaiser said Rockford Files. Who's the star and what's the car? I won't answer it this time. <laughs> Rockford Files was James Gardner. Okay. And the car, I believe, was a 70s Camaro. James, did he get it right? Tell him what he won. The McCoy said Eric Estrada shared a star. Might have been a Firebird. But starred in a Camaro. film called Chupacabra <laughs> versus the Alamo. Definitely a B movie. That's why I have one on the swamp buggy. Oh. Excellent. Tracy Corfield said, I thought Eddie B taking care of Johnny was a full time job. It is. The second he rolls into this house, I got to be all over it. Taking care of him. All over what? You. Hmm. Taking care of you. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Paul Blart, Jody said. Jim Holland said, excellent drawing, great entertainment tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Julie said, James Garner and a Camaro is what her guess was. Uh, Russ Randall said, James Garner, Firebird formula. Yeah, I want to, I was, after I said Camaro, I started thinking, I think it was a Firebird. Spud said, the best jet ski is a friend's jet ski. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you there. I agree with you there. Um, Kojak Light, Bob McLaren said. Um, James Kaiser said, mopeds are fun. You just don't want your friends seeing you ride one. Hank said, can't digest, stupid autocorrect. So we can't digest corn. Oh. Kevin Johnson's like, digestible corn? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> James Kaiser said, firebird. Mike Fritchie said, firebird. So what was the answer? It was James Garner with the firebird in the study. <laughs> with, <laughs> it sounded like a, a with clue Mrs. answer. <laughs> Rosenstein. So you're done? Yeah, then we're done. All right, let me put you on the screen. There's there. Starchy and Hutch. Starchy. Starchy and Hutch. I dig it. That's cool. Oh. Well, oh, that's not it. You need to do your logo and your signature. Some logage. Logage and oh, signature. Oh, I don't have one here. Yeah, I don't have one here. What? I don't have my logo. I so I'll just do signature right now. I don't have it. Because it's not here. He asked me three more times. It'll be the same answer. Well, I don't know why it wouldn't be there. Because. Okay. Lane said, Hank Dutton, no matter how. <laughs> you just you just cleared all my comments. Good. Thank you. No matter how 
much you chew it, it still comes out whole. <laughs> Spud said, Starfy and Hup. <laughs> Starfish. Tony Gautner said, nice job, JJ. Mike Fritchie said, no light. light? He, he did say he was oh, going to do the light. Whoops. He forgot to do the whoops. light. Good call. Hold the phone. Good call, Mike. Hold the phone. James Kaiser said, that's where the Rockford slide came from. Reverse to 180 spin and slam it in drive. Wow. Nice. I have no idea what that means. I don't. The so, Rockford so, slide, he reverses it to a 180 spin, he, and then he slams it in drive. Right. So what is he talking about? He's talking about spinning the car. Spinning what? What is he doing? Spinning the Camaro. What is he doing, though? He's spinning it. What do you mean spinning it? He puts on the brakes. The car spins. He turns the wheel. The car spins, and then boom, slams it in drive and goes. He what does? What does he do? Spins it. No, no, no. Tell me from the start. How, how does that happen? It's where the Rockford slide came from. Reverse. No, I'm not asking you to read He's it. He's reversing uh -huh. the car. Uh -huh. He's in reverse. Yeah. Slams on the brakes, turns the wheel, spins it to drive, clicks it into drive, and then goes. Look at you. Well, it makes sense. How does it not make sense? To you. I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't think you I, do. I think in my prior life, I was a race car driver actually you've been with me you've been with me hank we can't remind him about the logo because he doesn't have the logo i've already gotten swatted at for asking so you can't ask it'll be on there when i say put it, it on there kevin johnson said love the sketch kudos thanks guys for hanging in with us um what are you drawing next week tony that is the beauty of it. He literally has no idea until he walks in the door from after work. And then he's usually planning. So we'll see. Could be another movie car next week. Could be just something Could off be. the top of his head. We Stay don't tuned. Stay tuned. Um, next week Same will be our first, channel. our first September show. So that's exciting. We'll see what's going on. Fall times. Guys, need I remind you, do you see what I'm wearing here? I'm going to zoom in on... A big shot, okay? Look at this hat. You're a big shot. Look at this. Look at this beanie. It is, I'm in my air-conditioned home in the middle of summer in Florida, and I'm wearing a beanie. I also have on long sleeves and slippers because it's chilly in here, but I love this beanie. Bad hair day, ladies. Beanie. Johnny's wearing the trucker hat, our OG trucker hat with the Johnny Jalopy logo on it. He's also wearing the sketchy speed equipment shirt in red, which we don't have available. We have it available in black. But um, fun merch on the site, guys. So go check it out. Definitely, definitely grab a beanie. We still have quite a few left, I think. Lots. Yeah. Like 10, 15 at least. So um, hit us up. Grab your beanie. Um Let's see. Kevin Johnson said, I actually ruined the transmission on my 77, 77 Chevy Impala by doing Rockfords. I don't think I've ever done a Rockford, at least on purpose. You never have. And if I did, I didn't know that that's what I was doing. So, so there's that. Um, Lane said, everyone stay safe. Uh, weather getting rough here. Sketch looks great. Yes. Thanks. Please stay safe. There we go. Go to the uh, good shot of it. Okay. Screenshots here. Hank said he thinks it's time for a monster. We shall see. There we go. There's the Starchy and Hutch. Starsky and Hutch, and we will add the logo on there. That is cool. Yeah. Great job. Logo will be there. Great job, guys. $20 for these prints. Yeah, 20 bucks. Pretty fun. We sure appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Another fun night. Huh? Sure. <laughs> Good times. Is that right, John Poncharello? Good times. <laughs> John Contra. We need to see. We need to start watching TV shows so you can get on board. I that? wish I had time to watch TV. You have plenty of time. Or are you I watching worked. this? Or are you watching tonight? I sat down for twenty well, minutes. I know, but what were you watching? Home Improvement Show. What was it? Flip or flop. Those two people that can't. I can't stand them. They were married. They're now divorced. Yeah. They're now working horribly bad. And, they do, and then every house is the same. No, she did a great job with most. Every house is the same. In any case. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. 
twenty dollars for this full color Let me print. Guess, they Eleven do by seventeen tile. in size. They do subway tile on this one. No, but different colored subway tile. No, they didn't do subway modern tile. subway tile. <sighs> Website beanies, hats, shirts. We guess she was all mad. Over twenty designs because it was all gross available. in the house. Can you please? Was it all gross in the house? Was it? I'm trying to make sales here. Was it all gross in the house? Hit us up, guys. Was the house gross? All right, say goodbye. Was the house gross? Thanks, guys. We'll see Tell you next me. week. We'll see you next week. I'm ending the rock. Yes, it was gross. I told you. It's just always the same. Oh, my God, guys. There's our clothes this Trying season to four, go. episode 31. <laughs> Starsky and Hutch. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you next Monday. Stay sketchy. Bye.